Welcome back. In this video, we will see how we can create a new type of a door in Revit. So to create this door, we will use the family type as door family and the frame and material, uh, panel material should be wood. So let's switch to Revit and see how we can create this new type of a door. So to start with, first we will go to families and then click new. And from here, we can select metric door dot RFT and then click open. Once open, you can see this is the plan view of the family. So here you can see already we have some parameters assigned to it. We ha just like in Windows family and other families, you have some parameters already assigned. So you can see there is a width parameter and then you have a equal constraint. <coughs> Next, let's go to the exterior elevation view. So let's switch to visual style and make it a shaded visual style to have a more clear view. So you can see this is the wall present. The wall is present here since door is a wall hosted element. Next, if we go to 3D view and see, to reduce this uh, text size, you can simply go to scale and make it 1 is to 10 or 1 is to 20 to reduce the size of this text. Next, you will see, as I showed you, we have a wall and then already there is a frame present. So to start with, as you can see in this design, we need to create first a door. We do no need to create the frame. We already have a frame here. So we need to create this door panel and then there should be an opening. In this opening, there should be again two solid panels and then next should be three glass panels. So let's start with this. So we will start by first creating the door panel. So to start with, I will go to exterior view and then go to create and select extrusion. Select rectangle and then from the top from the top left corner till the bottom right corner I will create a rectangular sketch and then click finish. Once done, let's go to 3D view. So you will see it created a extrusion. So now the extrusion thickness is 250. So this extrusion Thickness is defining the thickness of the door panel. So let's make this one as 50 millimeter. So this will act as the thickness of the door panel. Next, once this is done, we need to create this opening first. So to create the opening, let me go to create and set the work panel, uh, set the work plane. So set, pick a plane. I am going to use this as the work plane. You can see go to the front view and then go to white form and select white extrusion. Next, I can select the rectangle again. So let's create a rectangle and set its height. So we can just give a approximate distance. Let's suppose this should be 200. And from this side, let's add another dimension. It should be also 200. Once done, let's give the height from the bottom. Then the total height. So let's suppose the height from the bottom should be 500. And then the total height should be 1 meter. Else, if you want, we can increase this height. And let's make it one meter. Oh, it doesn't look good. So let's change this to 1200. Once done, you can click on finish. And then you will see it created a, a op rectangular opening in the panel. Next, we would like to create first these two solid panels. So for this, again, I will go to create and then set work plane, pick a plane, click OK, and then select the face of the panel. Go to front view and next I'm going to use the extrusion command. So first I can take a reference boundary and then let's create So 
So now you can see how many we need to create like one, two, three, four. So we have one, two, three, four, and it should be equal distance. So what we can do, we can give a line dimension. And we can make it equal. <coughs> Next, out of this, we need to create only these two as the solid plane. So uh, solid uh, mass. So the rest we will delete it and just we will keep it these two. So for this, again, I'm going to use the trim command. First, I'm going to split it. Once done, let's go to trim and then we need to create a, oh, there is an overlap here, so okay, no problem. So, and then again, we can make a trim. Let's, we can make an unjoin. And here we can manually draw a closed loop. And the remaining lines, we can delete it. We can trim this line also. Once done, click Finish and go to 3D View. Now you will see the thickness is looks something wrong. So what we will do is we we'll select this extrusion and it should start from the back side of the panel. So let's move it and take it till here up to here. <coughs> Similarly, the thickness should be 50. All right, we need to give it zero because already it is back minus 50. So we will give it zero as the extrusion end. So now you will notice we got this solid panel. Once this is done, the next step is we need to create the glass panel. So to create the glass panel, again, we are going to repeat the same step. Let's see our, if our plane is already in this face itself. So let's go to show and we can see it's in the same face. So let's go back. And then go to extrusion and then use rectangle and one by one you can fill all the empty rectangles. Once done, click finish and set its height. So again, we know it, it should, the extrusion start should be minus 50 and then end should be zero. Once done, select, you can see the newly created extrusion is already selected. So we can go to subcategory and we can apply it as glass. So you will see automatically the glass will be applied to it. Let me switch off the plane. Next, let's see if we have a panel option. So I can select the panel and then go to material. Oh, sorry. Let's go to subcategory. And here you will see we have a panel. Let's click apply. So it's apply, uh, we, we have applied the category to this, but it's not taking the material. So what we can do, we can ma manually, we can assign the material to it. So next, let's select the panel and then go to material. And let's create a new material, wooden panel. And next, let's assign, let's I'll go to wood and let's suppose I will use birch and then click apply. Let's go to realistic view. So you can see here, we have applied the material. Let's apply the material to these two solid panels also. So let's go back again and then use the same option. Now once done, let's assign it to the frame also. So we can select the frame and then we can change the material. All right, so once done, once we are done with this, okay, let's see if, okay, this is the wall part. Okay, once done, then the next is we need to add a handle. Now to add a handle, I'm not going to create a new handle here from scratch. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use as a, this handle as a nested family. So what does it mean? I will go to create and then I will load a component here. So let's go to place a component, load up component, and then let's go to door. And then in the hardware option, let's see if we have different options. So let's suppose I can use one of this and we can add one here. 
so you see it's coming somewhere here so let's select you can select this and use pick new host and then you can select this wall I guess it's not a hosted element so we need to manually adjust it so what we can do we can simply go to one side and then use align use this face and then use the face of this this side face of the handle and next I can go to the back side view and you can simply drag it and you will see we have assigned the we have applied uh, we have created a handle here similarly you can create another handle on the other side once this is done you can save this so let's go and save it so let's create a new folder that is door and let's rename is door 01 and then save it once done I'm going to load this into my already uh, in my uh, project which is already open so let's see so this is the project we already have we have four walls here so let's go back again and then load it into the project and then simply we can add this doors here go to 3d view go to realistic and you will notice that you are newly created door is can be properly embedded in the project so this is the interior side so if you press a space bar it will simply go inside you can add another handle here so this is how we can create a new door in Revit. Thank you very much.